This video is different. One question drives its existence. Can ChatGPT design a usable speaker box? I fed it all these parameters and it spat out a plan. My restrictions for the challenge are as follows. One, follow the AI bot's plan without question. Two, only off the shelf parts and a $150 budget all encompassing. Three, I act like a true novice, no fixing obvious mistakes. So will we make music or just more AI fluff? Let's find out. Step one, the plan dictates a 1.3 liter internal volume and a capsule build was an option. Just as the plan states, no changes here. 3D scans of the speaker ensure proper fitment. Measure twice, print once. Step two, print the thing already. ChatGPT wanted gyroid at 15% or fill and eight walls on a 0.4 nozzle. What the bot wants, the bot gets. I added some artistic flair to the speakers. It doesn't affect the final sound, but it sure does look a lot better. I call this the human touch. Also, threaded inserts make such a clean project. Step four, mount the pre-built high pass filter for the tweeter. I didn't trust ChatGPT to design this, so I went pre-built as any pro playing novice would. Also, I don't know anything about crossovers. Step five, I'm told by the AI project manager that we need 10 grams of polyfill to drop the QTC to 1.0. This will flatten the response, making the box seem bigger than it already is. Refer to rule one, follow the plan without question. Step six, mount the driver and tweeter in their respective enclosures. Fairly self-explanatory, even a novice would find this one easy. Step seven, attach the pod to the enclosure. It separates the air volumes and bonus. It looks way cooler than a shoebox. Okay, ready to make some noise? We'll need an amp. So I quickly whipped up a matching box for the 30 watt amp. Throw it together with some movie magic montage, cables in, volume up, Music on. First impressions, I'm underwhelmed. They were hollow, they were missing the mids, something's not right. Unfortunately, rules three says I'm playing novice, so my only option at this point is to ask the chatbot. So it thinks I may have swapped the leads on the tweeters. This would make sense as opposing sine waves in the mids would cancel each other out. Let's check it out as it's easy to verify. Okay, so I did in fact swap those connections. I guess I played novice a bit too well this video. I suppose everyone makes mistakes, and back into a playtest. So that was better. My ears are pretty happy, but we have access to scientific equipment, so the numbers will be the real judge of these AI design speakers. I'll put longer playtests at the end of the video if you're interested in that. The chatbot predicts a resonant frequency of 134 hertz. So let's hook up the DATS box and see. Moment of truth, and the FS is 121 hertz, which is 13 lower than predicted. But this is good. Lower FS means more headroom for bass. The polyfill likely made the box act a little bigger than it already was. Now we're gonna check out the REW sweep. See this plateau? It starts exactly at 134 hertz and stays dead flat to 1000 hertz. And 134 hertz is the exact number that was called as a resonant frequency. Whether it's purely coincidental or all part of the chatbot's plan, I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I'm not mad. And after that 1000 hertz, it rises steadily, which is great for desktop clarity, and there's not a single major dip either. All in all, for under 150 bucks and coached by the AI chatbot, it's a wonderful studio setup that anyone could put together and enjoy crystal clear sound out of. So I want to give a huge thanks to the video sponsor, PCBWay, for keeping these experiments alive. Without their backing, projects like this would be way tougher to fund and test. So if you're wanting to build projects like you've seen on this channel, they have you covered as they offer 3D printing, CNC work, and custom PCBs. Check them out today at PCBWay.com and turn that idea into reality. Now, before I release you to the playtests, I feel obligated to give you at least one piece of knowledge. 
that 10 gram of polyfill we stuffed inside, well, we played a trick on that driver. By slowing the air down, it thinks it's in a bigger box. So the QTC went down with the stuffing. And more stuffing can continue to lower that QTC up to a point, but a touch too much and you'll choke the mids right out of the system. So our 10 grams was just enough to nudge it in the right direction. Okay, one last little teaser before the play tests, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be happy about this. That fully 3D printed subwoofer, it's up next. I'm finalizing the motor design currently and ordering steel plates probably in the next day or two. So expect that build on the channel within a month. So make sure you're subscribed and check the bell so you don't miss that 3D printed subwoofer. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd enjoyed the journey. And now, without further ado, I present the playtest of ChatGPT's studio speakers. Thank you. 